हेलो आई एम चौहान सत्यप्रिया फ्रॉम टू बी ग्रुप आई एम स्टडिंग इन ऑस इंटरनेशनल मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हिप बॉन इन हिप बॉन देर आर टू कॉक्जल बॉन प्रजेंट इन बॉथ साइड दिज आर सर्कुलर इन शेप कॉक्जल बॉन अटैच विद अ सेंटर बॉन कॉल्ड सेक्रम अंडर दिस सेक्रम वन बॉन इज ऑल्सो प्रजेंट दिस इज कॉकिक्स दिस कॉकिक्स बॉन इज कॉल्ड अट टेल बॉन विच इज प्रजेंट एट द टाइम ऑफ बर्थ ओनली कॉक्जल बॉन इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री बॉन्स विच इज इलियम ईस्टियम एंड प्यूबिक बॉन इलियम बॉन इज लार्जेस्ट बॉन इन इन दिस बॉन अ स्पेशल स्ट्रक्चर इज प्रजेंट इन इलियम देर आर देर इज अ स्ट्रक्चर प्रजेंट विच इज कॉल्ड इलियम फोसा Uh, it is important because mus uh, muscle tendon uh, is attached uh, with this and in pubis there is a pubic crest present uh, next is pubis sympathesis uh, it is a single cartilage bone which uh, present between these two bones it is very flexible this uh, bone is mostly flexible in females than compared to the male this is acetabulum it is a hollow shaped which uh, uh, attach through different cartilage muscles and tendons uh, obtuse foramen it is a space in this pelvic grid uh, in this uh, uh, our blood vessels are passes last one important uh, thing is this uh, this is a pubic arch uh, whenever a scientist want to find out was particular skeleton it is then look at this angle when this angle is greater than 90 then it is a pelvic grid of a female and less than 90 then it is a pelvic grid of a male this is all about hip bone thank you hello everyone myself gyanendra yadav from uh, second b group the uh, self work topic my is uh, scapula just i am going to explain about this scapula bone uh, this bone is uh, known as a uh, flat bone also means uh, its shape is like a triangular in shape so this is known as a triangular bone also and uh, just uh, this here process which is happening this one is a coracoid process they are acromion process and this one is a glenoid fossa and there is a supraspinatus fossa and this is a infraspinatus fossa just i am going to explain about why we call this coracoid because it crow beak like a structure so this known as a coracoid and it gives uh, intersection to three ligament means uh, the first one is a cora coraco clavicular ligament and the second one is a coraco acromial ligament and the third one is a coraco humeral ligament uh, just first one is a coraco clavicular ligament this uh, is a short head of bicep brachis and the second one is a coraco acromial ligament means uh, pectoralis uh, minor and the third one is a intersection to coraco humeral ligament means coraco brachialis just uh, and the second one is this is acromion process so this one is a insertion to trapezius trapezium this is muscle innervated by accessory nerve struggling of shoulder function and this attachment is uh, supra glenoid tubercle gives attachment to tendon of bicep uh, while infra glenoid tubercle give attachment to tricep and uh, secondary ossification at 20 years age and uh, just uh, some i am going to explain uh, the muscle which are attached to this is uh, there is a first one is a deltoid and the second one is a supraspinatus and the third one is a infraspinatus muscle and the fourth one is a td minor and the fifth one is a subscapularis uh, that is also known as multipinnate means uh, and the sixth one is a teri majors so i am going to explain about their origin means supra spinatus origin this uh, that one is a middle two third of the supra spinatus fossa of the scapula the muscle passes 
as a tendon laterally beneath of metacarpals above the metacarpals proximal phalanges this one is present there are five in number and and then distal to these phalanges the intermediate phalanges present which are four in number Inter the intermediate phalanges are absent in thumb then after intermediate phalanges uh, distal inter distal phalanges are present which are also five in number there are total 14 phalanges in our hand the joint between uh, phalanges are, is called interphalanges phalanges joint uh, so these are all about uh, carpal bones and thank you good morning sir my name is sumit sina group 2b first year student today is my topic hyoid bone hyoid bone u-shaped bone that is present in the front of neck suspended by muscles it has three part body two greater two lesser horn two lesser horn contain stalo halo ligament in clinical anatomy in death fracture of hyoid bone indicate throttling or stagulation that is blockage of air way assalamu alaikum my name is Tazi Mahmud Lun. I am the student of OSH IMU, first year, group 2nd B. My topic is about sternum. Sternum is a flat bone and this bone is divided into three parts. First, manubrium. Manubrium is connected to the body of sternum. Third, xiphoid. Let us discuss the parts are in detail and how these bones articulate with the sternum first manubrium it is the thickest and longest part of the sternum notch the superior superior border has the jugular notch in the medial arch and there are clavicular notches on the side for attachment of the clavicle. Body of the sternum. This is a first costal notch, a second costal notch, a third costal notch, a fourth costal notch, a fifth costal notch, sixth costal notch, and seventh demi facet for the seventh which has one half on the body of the sternum and one half on the xiphoid process thank you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is akib riaz i am the student of osha imu first year group 2b my, today my topic is bones of foot we have 26 bones in our foot uh, which includes tarsals, metatarsals, and 14 phalanges. Tarsals, uh, tarsals are having three rows, uh, proximal row, middle row, and the distal row. Proximal row contains two bones, calcaneus bone and the talus bone. <coughs> middle row contains a single bone, navicular bone, and the distal row contains three cuneiform bones and a cubital bone. <coughs> calcaneus bone. Calcaneus bone is also called as the heel bone. It function of the calcaneus bone, it transmits the weight of body from talus to the ground on standing position it is having six surfaces medial surface lateral surface superior surface inferior surface anterior surface and the posterior surface anterior surface of the calcaneus bone is attached with the cuboidal bone and the superior surface is attached with the talus bone if someone falls from height their uh, most common fracture occurs to the calcaneus bone uh, and if there is a forcible inversion of uh, foot uh, there are it leads to the supralateral fracture of calcaneus after that we will uh, we'll discuss about talus bone talus it's tortoise shaped bone which forms medial arch of our foot it is the bone in our body which is having no muscular uh, attachment and no tendon attachment and uh, in middle row we have a single bone navicular bone navicular bone it is a uh, board shaped bone that's why it's also called as the little ship it forms the transverse of uh, transverse arc of our foot 
then after that we have in distal uh, row we have cuboidal bone it uh, cuboidal bone it forms the uh, it forms lateral longitudinal arch of our foot it is having six surfaces in uh, dorsal surface plantar surface superior surface inferior surface posterior surface and an anterior surface then after that we have three cuneiform bones medial cuneiform bone intermediate cuneiform bone and the uh, lateral cuneiform bone medial cuneiform bone is the largest uh, bone and the intermediate cuneiform bone is smallest uh, after that we have metatarsals we have five metatarsals first second third fourth and fifth first metatarsal is the, mm, the strongest metatarsal bone and the second one is the longest metatarsal bone there are some factors related to the metatarsals uh, in which uh, we have marsh factor Mars factor occurs fact, uh, Mars factor is that factor which happens to, uh, to the uh, second, third and the fourth metatarsal. It mostly happens in policemen and soldiers and uh, we have another fracture, Jones fracture which uh, there it is the fracture to the fifth metatarsal. Then after that we have 14 phalanges and for, in the greater toe we have only two phalanges and rest of the toes contains three phalanges in each. The phalange which is uh, uh, near to the metatarsal is called as proximal phalange and after that we have medial phalange and the distal phalange. Thank you for your uh, attention. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asif Jamal. I am a student of IMU uh, uh, group uh, 2B first year. My topic is human excretory system and is uh, presented to Dr. Muhammad Faisal sir. Uh, we first uh, talk about the human excretory system. In humans, uh, the excretory system consists of a pair of uh, uh, kidney and kidney is metanephric in humans. One pair is uh, urethra that means there are two ureters. One is this and another is this. And, and after that we have one bladder, urinary bladder and one urethra. And the shape of the kidney is uh, bean shape and kidney is reddish brown. Is situated between the level of last last thoracic and third lumbar vertebra, close to the dorsal inner wall of the abdominal cavity, and the right right kidney is lower than the left kidney slightly because uh, because the uh, right kidney occupies the liver above the right kidney. Each kidney is of adult human measure the 10 cm in length, and width of kidney is 5 to 7 cm, and its thickness is. Uh, 2 to 3 centimeter and its weight average 120 to 170 grams after that uh, uh, after that ureter uh, ureter carry urine from kidney to urine, uh, urinary bladder and urine urinary bladder store the urine uh, temporarily and the muscle of the urinary bladder is detrusor uh, muscle length of the female urethra is 4 centimeter Urine uh, urethra is a pipe. Uh, urethra is a pipe-like structure uh, which extends from urinary bladder to the exterior. Urethra in a female carry only urine, and urethra in the male carry both urine and semen. After that, we talk about the some some uh, some artery vein. We talk about the first aorta. Uh, aorta carries blood away from our heart to the rest of the our body, uh, and then vena cava. Vena cava carries a large vena cava is a large vein that carries deoxygenated blood from body to the right of the right atrium of the heart and the renal uh, renal artery renal artery carry blood blood heart to the our kidney and the renal vein carry renal vein carry blood from kidney to the vena cava Hello guys, I am Sarika from 2B group OSH International Medical University. Today I want to talk about carpal bones the skeletal of hand made up of carpal bone which make proximal part of skeleton of hand there are total 27 bone in a our palm uh, distal to car these are carpal bones and distal to carpal bones there are five metacarpal bones distal to metacarpal bones the bone which are present in fingers are called phalanges so first we discuss about carpal bones uh, carpal these words come from a greek word carpus 
which means wrist uh, carpal bones consist eight bone that is arranged in two rows first proximal row and second is distal row uh, proximal row first bone is scaphoid bone and it is all it is also a common fracture bone called scaphoid fracture these bone are board shaped second is lunate lunate is half moon shaped bone third is triquilateral uh, over this triquilateral bone a bone is present which is called pisiform bone and this is sesamoid bone second row is distal row uh, first is trapezium second trapezoid third capitate and fourth hamate the mnemonic for these bones are isne lata tinde paka tere tinde kacche hai ossification of these bones these carpal bones are cartilaginous at birth uh, the ossification center of all these bone is only one uh, and that is appear after birth the first bone which is ossified is capitate and sec last bone which is ossified is pisiform and this one uh, mul then we discuss about metacarpal bones there are five metacarpal bones uh, first bone is of thumb and the last one is of little finger the metacarpal bone consists three part head which is uh, circular toward upper side and lower side then shaft and base the joint between metacarpal bone and carpal bone is metacarpal joint the first metacarpal this one is strongest and shortest bone and the second metacarpal is longest bone of metacarpals sam i am a student of imu international medical university and group b today my topic is scapula or scapular or um, shoulder blade and scapula is a triangular bone it has three angles three processes and three borders and two surfaces this is a inferior angle superior angle and lateral angle this is a lateral border mid uh, middle border and superior border processes this is acromial process coracoid process and uh, spinous process and, and and two surfaces ventral surface and dorsal surface this is a uh, sub uh, scapular notch so and this is a sub, uh, uh, supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa and muscle attachment about the about the spinous process muscles uh, muscle of the uh, supra uh, supraspinous muscle and uh, and below the spinous process in the infraspinous uh, infraspinous muscle and lateral and the lateral side of the scapula muscle of the teres muscles teres minor muscles and teres major muscles and and middle middle side of the scapula muscle of the rhomboid muscle rhomboid minor muscles and rhomboid major muscles this is a glenoid cavity in the attach to the greater tubercle of uh, you know, greater uh, tubercle of humerus and in humerus and the uh, humerus and greater side uh, and greater side uh, greater tubercle of humerus in the uh, three muscles um, uh, supraspinous infraspinous and teres minor and uh, and rotator cuff muscles uh, rotator cuff muscles of uh, four muscles uh, supraspinous infraspinous teres minor and subscapular uh, subscapular subscapular is muscle is a four muscles and thank you